Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> he had he had Sean Bean sweating. Yeah. I don't remember what the color of the bathroom <laughs> is. <laughs> but I promise I'm gay. <laughs> Pull it out. Show me a penis. Show me a penis. Show me a penis. <laughs> Show me a penis. Let me see a penis now. <laughs> what color is a black man's penis? <laughs> it's purple. It's he a was trick question. He was light skinned. There's different colors. They got all different kind of colors. Yeah. <laughs> they got a mocha. Yeah. <laughs> Only some of them have cocks that look like the lips. <laughs> you think if Robert De Niro was gay, he'd like to fuck black men? Um, because he likes he black likes to women. fuck black mm -hmm. women. Do you think there's That's some kind of question? It would be funny if he was gay just to hear what the president would have to say about him. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He got this guy. He's playing a mobster. Meanwhile, he's sucking cock. <laughs> he's in his dressing room. And he's got, this is true. They're on the set of Goodfellas. They had to stop filming because he's in his trailer and he's getting fucked in his ass. <laughs> We've just like, like Al Qaeda has just blown up the Freedom Tower. And he's like, Robert De Niro. <laughs> just, this guy was suck, sucking so much. And they used to shoot on film. Thousands and thousands of dollars. Every time they have to say cut. Thousands of dollars mm -hmm. they're wasting. So this guy, and then look, that's your choice. That's your life. <laughs> Those are your choices to make. They're like, are you going to react to the terrorist attack? 3,000 people have died. And he's down on his knees. <laughs> That's a disgusting question. It's a disgusting question. You're a disgusting person. You should be fired and killed. <laughs> and Robert De Niro, he would suck the cum out. Of, uh, this is true. I'm not. I know it sounds bad. <laughs> but I'm not making this. I'm up. not making it up, folks. He would keep the cum in his mouth, and they'd say he would spit it all over the craft services table. And I mean, come on. That's where. That's for working. Now, people. for me, that's too much. It's for working people. You know, the Democrats, they say they care about working people. Here's Robert De Niro spitting cum all over the Capri Suns. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's a, an electrician's got to come by. He doesn't even have health insurance. He can barely figure out the straw in the fucking thing. <laughs> and then he's got a bunch of cum in his face. From Robert De Niro throwing off and up again. Because <laughs> Robert De Niro is gay. A second plane has hit the towers. <laughs> Undoubtedly one of the darkest moments in American history. We go live now to the president, who's still talking about Robert De Niro being gay on the set of Casino. <laughs> <laughs> A sad day in American history. Oh, uh, fuck, dude. Oh, gosh. Yeah. <sighs> But I'm, I, I do wonder if there's some kind of mathematics. Like, if you like to fuck Asian women, if you became gay, would you? I don't know. Mm -hmm. What's do you fuck Asian men? Do you fuck? I don't know. Hispanic. Men? Well, it's, it's called the devil's prism for a reason. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, if you, you were a, a straight man that wanted to fuck Asian women and you became gay, yeah, then you would want to fuck little boys. Oh, interesting. That's the, in the gay community, children are the equivalent of Asian. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna put. So you consider I'm pedophiles? Not make, I'm not making a this subset. Up. I'm not making. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's the it's, no, I'm telling you, mm -hmm. I'm, this is Billy Bugs. This is Bush, true. It's true. Billy Bush. He interviewed Robert De Niro, and Robert De Niro was saying to him, "I used to like Asian women. I tried out being gay. Now I fuck children, and it's." It's one hundred percent true. <laughs> well, you tell me. Ah, you tell me, Anderson Cooper. <laughs> okay, Mr. President, we have to discuss the terrorist attack that's been committed in New York City. Al Qaeda is claiming responsibility. Fifty thousand people are dead. They dropped. They detonated a hydrogen bomb in the middle of Manhattan, and eight eight point three million Americans perished last night. <laughs> <laughs> and they're saying that our projected GDP puts us on par with uh, Kuala Lumpur. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have now we have now descended to third world country status. I actually amount of, we're going, CNN is going out of business. Good, you should go out of business. You know these lies you're telling about me when you should be reporting on Robert De Niro having gay sex. <laughs> Joe so Pesci almost is, killed himself last year. This is true. Last year, <laughs> CNN. Did 862 million negative stories about me. Mm -hmm. We added it up. We had somebody, we got somebody from the Office of Accountability in the Post Office, something <laughs> like that. They added, they added it up 832 trillion times. Mm -hmm. There was a negative story about mm -hmm. me. 
one story about Robert De Niro having gay sex with the margin of error of one. That's not fair. <laughs> it's not fair. It's not fair. Just but why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> that is correct well the election's coming up Nine, 19 million Americans are dead mm -hmm. the, average, the average household income is now three dollars a year mm -hmm. <laughs> Donald uh, Trump are trying to mute, yeah. 500 electoral votes Donald, Donald Trump is down 800 million points in the polls so it looks like it's going to be an easy win for Joe Biden <laughs> Well, it's election night, and Donald Trump won 100% of the votes. <laughs> Not a single person voted for, and we go live now uh, to, 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 the, to, to poll exit voter, uh, exiting voters and see what they, they think. Uh, we're here in, I don't know, if, uh, uh, Wisconsin. Who gives mm -hmm. a shit? Well, yeah, you know, I... I uh, <laughs> I've a role, I've voted for Barack Obama. You know, we <laughs> liked him. Even you know, I mean, I thought you know maybe it's time for, uh, you know, what was he Spanish or something? <laughs> I thought that was good, but uh, you know, I mean, I, a lot of people they're 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 you know, I, I don't know how you feel about Donald Trump, but he is the president, you know. And if I'm going to vote for somebody, I figure voting for president, and one of them is the president. So, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that seems to be you know that makes a lot of sense yeah. to me. Yeah, for me it was. Robert De Niro being gay, they yeah. kind of swung yeah. me in the right direction. I, I didn't like that he said that, but, you know, you look into it, and it's actually true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I, I, initially I was pretty mad at the president, but then there's another clip that they don't show you on CNN. They played it on Fox News, and, and we go live to the clip now. <laughs> Not only is he gay, but they found this out. His real name is William Wilhelm. <laughs> He's not even he's not even a time. He made it up. <laughs> he made it up in college when he started reading Karl mm -hmm. Marx. He thought, Oh, if I had an Italian sounding name, I'd be able to be in gangster movies even though I'm a cock sucking homosexual. <laughs> <laughs> Sanderson, Sanderson Mr. President, you're not answering stone. my question. Just oh, okay, mm -hmm. okay, Mr. President. Um, there's now been a a 35th plane. <laughs> <laughs> They're down to People. flying plane. They've run out of buildings, <laughs> and they've flown a plane into the Barton Springs pool in Austin, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> the Royal Farms Arena in Baltimore City has been destroyed. <laughs> People That's are what using. I said. Yeah, this is why everyone needs to have their own private plane. I fly private all the time. This is never going to be an issue for me. <laughs> and I do it, and what do they say? The climate. Oh, he's hurting the climate. What is that? It's invisible. <laughs> the air. Now, that's, that's how bad they think I am. That I can hurt the air. <laughs> it's, you can't even see it. Fox, these are sick people. Meanwhile, Robert De Niro, <laughs> he's burping and farting cum off. <laughs> What's his carbon footprint? <laughs> do you know how many chemicals it takes to clean up cum? What, how do you measure his car carbon footprint? What size women's shoe do you measure his <laughs> carbon footprint? <laughs> Answer me that, Anderson Cooper. <laughs> you know De Niro is actually only a quarter Italian? Yeah. Is that true? It's fucked up, dude. Uh, Mr. President, I should inform you, outside of my responsibilities as a journalist, to never put myself into the story, but I am, in fact, a homosexual. Ew! <laughs> Don't say that about yourself, Anderson. <laughs> I understand we've had our differences, but I think very highly of you. I think you're a good guy. <laughs> don't, 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 you don't need to throw yourself under the bus just because I'm here. <laughs> I appreciate what you're doing. No, I'm a gay man. No, you're Stop. good, you're good, you're good. You're a good guy. You're a good guy, and that's why I'm here to unite people. We're going to bring everybody together. You should th think highly of yourself, Anderson. Look, you made it all the way to the, t the top of the TV. You're the, the, you're the king of the TV. You're the guy on the TV. You're all the way up here in TV City. And where's Robert De Niro? Down on his knees on on Fifth Avenue. <laughs> He's sucking some guy's cock. <laughs> Damn. Uh, we think the uh, turning point. <laughs> Tonight on Frontline, how Donald Trump swept the election in 2020. <laughs> We initially thought giving Anderson Cooper a 17-hour interview with the president <laughs> immediately following the worst terrorist attack in the history of the United States would 
hurt him. <laughs> But uh, apparently he's made out of Teflon. Yeah. <laughs> There's literally nothing the president can do that will be perceived as bad by the American people. And that's partially our fault. <laughs> what if he got his dick sucked on camera? Mm -hmm. Trump? Yeah. Would that help or hurt him? I, I don't, I don't see that hurting. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Whatever. Then it's like a disclaimer. Due to threats to our funding, Frontline has lost editorial control of the show, which will now be handled by some woman that Donald Trump met at a car wash. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Robert De Niro. <laughs> Gay and not Italian. <laughs> Tonight on Frontline. <laughs> we, look into, we look into the star of Casino's cock-sucking exploits. <laughs> Back in his Ulster Scott days on Fifth Avenue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gay and not Gay Italian. And not yeah. Italian. <laughs> Issue one. It's just Dexter Filkins being like, oh, are you sure you don't want to just ask me about Iraq? <laughs> They're like, no, just say so. Just call Robert De Niro Gay. Just say he's gay. We <laughs> <laughs> we need that. We need to just ride out this administration. Just, once it's over, we'll he's go got back. He's got four, four more, years. four more years. We just do do. We'll do thirty five episodes on Robert De Niro and how Eugene Carroll has schizophrenia. <laughs> we're just we're doing all of his political enemy attack shows. We're just going to get it out of the way, and then we can start. And we'll go, go back. We keep going back. We can do another another hundred episodes on how ISIS is. Either doing good or bad. <laughs> Frontline kind of fell off for like a period. Dude, I don't know. I never watched Frontline. In my Frontline life. rocks. Yeah. Frontline's great. The one on Putin it. is really good. But then they had like. And they, then the one on ISIS is really good too. There's a million on ISIS, I feel. Yeah. Like it was like in. The in one like, I saw on ISIS. Wait, is it a weekly show? I don't know. Like no. They do one on it's, like it's like once every like six weeks or documentary so. Documentary series. Oh, okay. I yeah. see. They're pretty good. You learn a lot. Interesting. Them. Never seen shit. You should watch the Firestone one. You probably like that one. What's Firestone? The tire company? Yeah, Firestone, they had a rubber plantation in Liberia. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. That's where they were chopping people's hands off and shit? Yeah, they were like fucking... They basically like funded this guy, Charles Taylor's like... Yeah. Death Squad. Yeah. No. He was out there just fucking genociding motherfuckers. Yeah. Fuck, that would suck. I'd Tonight on Frontline, did Robert De Niro fund Charles Taylor's <laughs> genocidal campaign? Yes, he did. And he sucked his cock. And he's gay and he's not <laughs> Italian. <laughs> <laughs> ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Dude, I burned my fucking thumb grilling. Yeah. I I was getting the souvlaki out of the shit. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I touched the, the wood while it was right off the grill. And I heard my fucking thumb meat sizzle. Does that well, shit ever happen to you? Yeah. yeah. It's just the moisture on your finger. Dude, it was fucked up. No, it looked. And it smelled probably too. Yeah, and it tasted so good. Your thumb? You ever tasted human, like perfectly charred human flesh. Do you flesh? have a taste for human flesh, I do though? now, dude. I'm like a fucking bear that ate a, a woman. <laughs> or gotta put another me down. bear? Oh, yeah. Then you can't... It was fucked up. I don't like hearing my own fucking skin go... Tss. I think that is a good conclusion to your life is that you just eat yourself. <laughs> I to slowly death. barbecue my, eat mm -hmm. a little you piece of You don't eat myself. other stuff. You just it's eat like when yourself. Homer has a donut head. <laughs> yeah, and dude, He can't stop awesome. eating his own head. Hmm. I used, to draw, I used to draw a donut head Homer all the time when I was a kid. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I was obsessed with drawing Homer mm -hmm. with it. That's donut. a good one. Yeah. Donut head Homer rocked. And also... A Taurus. Also, uh, Homer in the Chocolate City. Yeah. Where the Germans take over yeah. the plant. Of course, Mr. Simpson. After all, we are from the land of chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. You were saying something about chocolate? <laughs> that was 10 minutes ago. <laughs> God damn, I would love to be in a land of chocolate. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm. fuck. Yeah. Yeah, so anyway, we got to fucking plan our Puerto Rico vacation, dude. Oh, yeah, we've made a big decision about the show, guys. We're going to winter in Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. We're going to be snowbirds, like uh, old Jewish people going to a warmer weather climate. We should just get a fucking mansion, dude. 
Living single in a 90s kind of world. Living single. That would be cool. Sucking pussy. We're sucking penis. We're sucking penis. We're sucking penis. Tonight's episode of In Living Single has been purchased. In Living yeah. Single. Living Single. <laughs> it's been purchased by. Uh, Donald Trump, the distribution rights, and has been edited <laughs> to reflect the, the official positions of the White House. <laughs> We're going to get black people on board. We're going to buy episodes of Living Single. You say you get the black vote. You tell them Robert De Niro is actually a cocksucker. Because the blacks, they're like me. They don't like gays. They don't like it. They, you know, everybody's saying I'm stuck in the past. These guys... <laughs> Go to, a, go to a barber shop. Yeah. <laughs> you ever talk to a black guy? The thing's coming out of his mouth. It's like it's 1880. <laughs> He's talking about, I can't wait to get a telephone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to try out one of these telephones. <laughs> I, can't, I can't wait to order something from the Sears mm, catalog. So true, <laughs> Mr. President. <laughs> that's, 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 that's how these black people have to be like, the way, yeah. they, the way they talk, it's like it's 1830. Yeah. It's N-word this, N-word that. It's like, pal, one of them's going to hear you. <laughs> you got to say it quieter. You got to be quiet. You got to do it. You can't say that word. I say it in the dressing room at Bergman Goodorf. <laughs> Bergman Dorf Goodman? Yeah, whatever the fuck yeah. that place is called. Didn't somebody say they had audio of him saying it while he was on The Apprentice? Um, yeah. Well, he had a good reason to say it. Oh, he was kicking Omarosa off? Yeah. <laughs> what happened to Omarosa? She was in the administration, and then I think she... He tried to switch, switch up and snitch on him or something. Mm -hmm. It didn't work? I don't think so. She's fucking Teflon dumb. She dude. didn't get, yeah, she, I'm sure she was uh, adopted by the resistance for two days. It's going to be so funny when he wins. <laughs> God, I hope he doesn't. But he probably will. It's going to be so Tomorrow funny. Tomorrow night's the debate. Nuh-uh, for real? Yeah. Tomorrow Damn. night's debate one. We should have saved. Are you the show. serious? That's we should have awesome. saved. Saved. Uh, Feel her. my dick in your. That's gonna be. That's gonna be a fucking battle. That's for gonna be our heart. awesome, dude. Honestly, it's gonna. It's gonna. It's gonna, that de it's gonna only... degenerate into just name calling. No, shit, no. 100%. Trump's whole thing right now is that they're probably gonna visit. You know what? The, here's how Joe Biden wins the election. He beats him up. Well, not get, like buck on him because Donald Trump will back down. Mm -hmm. No, I think and Joe, and Joe Biden does have that energy. He really fight. does. He would get in a fight. Yeah. What he if would Joe get in a Biden? Fight. What if Joe Biden was just, just like kicks his <laughs> he was like, gets in his face and he's like, do something. That would be awesome. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I really, now that I said that, he would win the election <laughs> easily. If he made Trump oh, look yeah. like a pussy. If he just fucking got in Donald Trump's face and said, do something. No yep. one's tried that yet. Honestly, yeah, it should have been. It should have been. Joe fun. Biden should just be like, he's like, listen, Jack, listen. It's also like, what he's do we like, have to lose <laughs> culturally, politically? Nothing. Oh, nothing. It's already a super embarrassment. That's what people are tuning yeah. in for, anyways. There's no chance we're getting like health insurance out of no. it. No. That's not even going to be we, discussed. All, yeah, it's, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. All we can hope for is that it's slightly. I mean, he, Donald Trump's going to bring like a sample of of Joe Biden's son's brain cancer on stage. No, no, no. <laughs> Just, <laughs> Donald Trump's whole thing right now is that he is demanding Joe Biden take a drug test because he's <laughs> a drug addict. He keeps tweeting about how he's like Joe Biden is a drug addict. Look, I know this. He's, he's him and Robert test. De Niro, they've been doing poppers. <laughs> <laughs> they've been doing poppers. It's a drug. It's only gay people are allowed to take it. How is how is that fair? <laughs> they got a drug that only gay people are allowed mm -hmm. to do. And they say they want equality. Well, how come? Here's, here's where we were, 1950. You know, some people say this is an equal. Other people say, well, maybe there's a, little, a couple more things we could change. Okay, okay, go ahead. Change a couple of things. But then they go way too far. They've gone too far. Now gay people have special Their drugs. Their own drugs. Mm -hmm. They got special drugs. Prep poppers. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm in the White House, and I'm shooting heroin with my daughter. <laughs> I'm she's I'm, beautiful. I'm having my beautiful daughter shoot heroin into the last vein in my penis. <laughs> <laughs> I had to go. I had to go to Thailand to get new veins put into my penis, <laughs> <laughs> so I could shoot heroin into my penis before the debate.